Hey y'all, it's Mimi. Today I am doing a Dollar Tree garden haul. So I'm gonna kind of show you things that I picked up for my garden from Dollar Tree. And I think a few things might have come from Walmart. But I'm not like a super like master gardener or anything like that. I just really started gardening about two years ago and I've always used the containers. Well, this year I kind of want to branch out and do the square foot garden. So I'll be building some boxes and I'll document all of that when I get to that point. But right now I just want to go ahead and start the seeds indoors. So um, I just bought and picked up a few things that I needed to be able to do that. And I'm going to share that with you. So if you're wanting to start gardening, you don't need a extremely green thumb. It is truly a learning process. Um, I wasn't great right away. I'm still not great, but um, <laughs> you know I've had some success last year growing in pot. String beans, peas, lettuce, and bell pepper. So this year I'm branching out. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna do the square foot gardening. So I'm gonna make, you know, those boxes. And I'm gonna try my hand at cabbage and squash and a few other things and I'll show you all the seeds and stuff that I bought. So let's get started and see what I got. Disclaimer, my nails need to be done. So I needed to get these seeds started today so I could not put this video off any longer. So just know, I know my nails need to be done. So the first things I got were these super cute and functional pot like planters um i don't know how many gallons these are but i'm just gonna put lettuce in these and they'll stay on this um screening porch i'm actually gonna put those over there with that plant because lettuce will burn up so it kind of needs some shade so lettuce and herbs and things like that will actually stay inside of the screen porch. these are the self-watering ones i can't pop it off but I believe you pour water in here and it kind of self waters. These at Target are like $3.99, $4.99 a piece. So I got them $1.99. And I'm telling you, this stuff at Dollar Tree, when you see it, get it now because once it's gone, they don't restock it. Yeah, two of these. I also picked these up. Not crazy about how these look. Maybe thinking about spray painting them. I don't know, but for a dollar, you can't beat that. So I got two of these. I did mention I'm doing the the beds. They're gonna be four by four. And so even though you do the container garden, you still have to protect it from weeds. So I got these weed barriers. I got three of them because I'm planning on doing three four by four beds. And this covers four by eight. So they should be big enough. To, even there's a picture on here of a lady container gardening so I'll just lay these at the bottom so no weeds come up once we put the dirt in these are like $4.99 $5 piece. so that was a steal picked up these garden markers so the thing is when you plant stuff you want to know what you planted so these plant labels there's 10 in a pack $4 and you just probably take like a sharpie and write lettuce, squash, whatever you're planting. So I picked up two of these garden gloves. And these are so good because I used these last year. So this bottom part is kind of latex so your hands don't get wet. But this is the second pair I've had. I've had some others around here. Going back to pots, I picked some of these up again. These are for lettuce. I just want to have tons of lettuce for salads. So you just kind of sprinkle them and they just kind of grow up. So I got two of these. And again, these will stay in this green porch. Shovel, can't go wrong with that. And I bought all the seeds. They're four for a dollar. They don't have a huge selection like I want, it, I want Swiss chard, like the pretty one with the red stalk. Like they don't have stuff like that. But just your basics like sage and I got basil, I got some parsley, spinach, just your basics. I don't think you can go wrong, especially if you're just starting out and you don't even know if you're gonna like gardening or if you're even gonna be good at it. So I think this is just a good way to kind of get your feet wet. Um, I think that's all I got from Dollar Tree. So next from Walmart, 
I picked up this seed starting kit. And they just, it's 72 in here. This thing was $6. I have a blog post that I wrote last year about how you actually use these and, and water them. I will put a link to that in the description box. But this one is actually like a little greenhouse. So basically you put your seeds in here and then you cover it up with the top and the ink, you know, the heat where you get your seeds to germinate. And then at that point, um, these little pellets, they swell up. So it kind of looks like this. So it's gonna swell up and then you can just put the whole thing in the ground. So when it's time to transplant it, I don't have to worry about like taking it out of anything. The netting actually biodegrades and you just stick it in the ground. That's it. So that's what I picked up. I think I might've spent maybe $20 on stuff. I mean, outside of this, um, that little greenhouse. But between the Dollar Tree, I think I might've spent 15 to $20 on all of this stuff. And I really have everything that I need to get started. So, um, I'll, you know, I'll put down a link in the description box, some blog posts that I've done. If you're thinking about starting a garden, don't be intimidated. Just get out there and do it. You know, plant some seeds. Set a reminder on your phone to water them those types of things and um so yeah thank y'all for watching if you like this video be sure to thumbs up and subscribe i appreciate it thanks for watching see y'all next time bye